okay once again the welcome back to easy concept now we are going to continue our session that is the connection share connection so as i said earlier the share connections are share connections there are two one is a welded connection Another one is bolted or riveted connection. Okay. The bolted connection we having seen. Now we are going to see the welded connection. Okay. Under shear connection, we are going to see now the welded connection. Okay. So see what is a welded connection that we are going to see. The welded connection is very simple. Okay. See, I will do everything in this slide itself. Welded connections. Okay. Here, the first one is a lap connection. How is the lap connection? This is one joint, this is one member, this is another member. Okay, so this is the welded joint. So, this is the welded joint. If you see in plan or in top view. Then you know this is our plate. And you can able to see here the weld <coughs> along the length. Okay. So along the length you can able to see the weld. the weld that we can able to see is yes, this one so this is the welded connection Okay, this is the welded connection. If you see in plan, then you can able to see this, the weld which is uh, <coughs> takes place all along the width. Okay, so this is the width of the welded connection B. Okay, next we are going to see butt connection. Okay, second one is the butt connection single cover single cover but joint next one is a double cover third one is double cover but joint single cover but joint next one is a double cover but joint so single core but joint already we having seen in the bolted connection, right? The same thing here also, there are two plates. Here these two plates are connected. By using a weld. by using a weld okay you can uh, do it a weld something like that 
this type of weld is called a fillet weld okay by using a cover plate on both sides so no here there is no cover plate we will use the weld okay here this is the weld okay here not a single cover sorry here only butt weld we will say okay here we will say only butt weld but but weld okay and this is the but weld and this is the center point throughout this we can able to find a weld butt weld so this is all about the butt joint lap joint and butt joint understood so this is the connection now we are going to analyze okay analysis of weld <coughs> i can write here some of the important points note note welds are strong in in tension welds are strong in tension okay now tensile strength of weld is tensile strength of weld is f is equal to 400 meha pascal then welds are weak in weak in shear welds are weak in shear and shear strength of weld shear strength of weld which is equal to f u divided by root of 3 okay meha pascal okay so this is all about the weld now we are going to see strength calculation of weld so this is important for our examination perspective suppose i can write strength calculation strength calculation of weld see for example there was a plate this plate is connected by a fillet weld so this is the p then you know the weld is this okay here the weld is happen okay the weld has been made is something like that this entire weld is length of weld we can call it as effective length okay so now see <coughs> let me take this is a l1 and this is also l1 this is l2 okay therefore length of weld is equal to length of weld is equal to l1 plus l1 plus l2 which is two times the l sorry two times the l1 plus l2 so this is our answer for length of weld now see <coughs> strength of weld we can write strength of weld strength of weld we can calculate we can write strength is means what stress into area of the weld so fs is the permissible stress of weld into 
effective area of weld effective area of weld so where f s is equal to permissible permissible stress yeah. <coughs> permissible stress in weld so permissible stress in weld is equal to f u divided by root of 3 to 1.25 in limit state method which is equal to f u sorry which is equal to 110 mega pascal in working stress method this is the permissible stress in weld okay now effective area what is this effective area effective area which is equal to l effective length okay l effective into throat thickness what is the throat thickness so suppose there was a length okay this one these two plates are welded together okay now this face is welded and this face also welded you know this is one the size of the weld one side and this is another one size of the weld yes one yes two you know generally the failure which is happened along the diagonal so along the diagonal in this plane the failure is happened therefore this we are call it as a throat thickness throat thickness that is tt so along this plane there was a failure is happened this plane is called it as a shear plane so the corresponding thickness is the throat thickness so this is the effective area okay now see strength of the plate is equal to or strength of weld is equal to weld is equal to permissible stress fs into l effective into throat thickness this throat thickness we can write see here i can write throat thickness further you can write l effective into k into s since throat thickness is equal to k into s yes. i'm going to see i'm going to explain now each and every thing is equal to k into s yes. this is the effective area this is the permissible stress now we are going to see one by one what is the k okay what is the k k is the constant K is the constant depends upon depends upon angle of fusion phases. K is the constant which depends upon angle of fusion phases. Okay. Now see that K is depends upon we can write <coughs> angle of fusion phases and K value. angle between fusion phases and k value angle between fusion phases is 60 degree to 90 degree we are having one value the 91 degree to 100 degree we are having another value 101 degree to 106 degree we are having another value then 107 degree to 107 degree to 113 degree we are having another one value 114 degree to 
120 degree we are having another value so here the starting value is 0 0.7 then 0 0.65 0 0.6 0 0.55 then 0 0.5 so this is our answer the key okay means here angle of fusion phases means this one suppose there are two plates are connected then this is the angle of fusion phase suppose two plates are connected then this is the angle of fusion phase okay so <clears throat> this is the angle of fusion phase okay now yes yes we can say is the size of the weld yes is size of weld it depends upon it depends upon okay size of the weld it depends upon two one is thickness of thinner size of the plate okay yes is call it as the size of the weld and it is depends upon two one is thickness of thinner connected member another one is maximum size of the weld that depends upon the <coughs> some conditions okay now we are going to see size of the weld it is depends upon two one is one is minimum size of weld minimum size of weld another one is a maximum size of weld Another one is maximum size of belt. One is a minimum size of belt, another one is a maximum size of belt. The minimum size of belt, you know, it depends upon what, and maximum size of the belt, it depends upon what. The minimum size of the belt, it depends upon, it depends upon, the minimum size of belt depends upon thickness of thicker plate thicker thickness of thicker plate being connected thickness of thicker plate being connected okay now see we are going to write the values <coughs> the values are okay the values are this one Okay. Thickness of thicker plate, first one. Thickness of thicker plate. And minimum size of weld minimum size of weld so here we can say up to 10 mm up to 10 mm 11 to 20 mm 21 to 32 mm greater than 32 mm so here the values are minimum size of weld is 3 mm this is 5 mm and this is 6 mm this is 8 mm so this value you have to keep in your mind okay now the maximum size of the weld <coughs> okay the maximum size of the weld it depends upon two conditions so the condition number one it depends upon two conditions condition number one at the square edge at a square edge square edge square edge means uh, okay square edge maximum size of weld 
maximum size of belt is equal to throat thickness tt means what throat thickness i already written okay tt is throat thickness <coughs> sorry not throat thickness thickness of plate thickness of plate minus 1.5 m meaning this one this is one plate and this is another plate this is another plate okay now <coughs> now this is the thickness of member sorry this is the size of the belt and you have to subtract this one this is 1.5 mm from this total thickness from this total thickness of the plate this is the total thickness of the plate in that total thickness you have to subtract this 1.5 if it is a square edge if it is a square edge then you have to subtract 1.5 mm you have to subtract 1.5 mm subtract 1.5 m so you will get a maximum size of the belt this is the first condition the second condition is second condition is second condition is at a rounded edge at a uh, rounded edge <coughs> a rounded edge maximum size of weld which is equal to 3 by 4 of thickness of 3 by 4 of thickness of plate 3 by 4 of thickness of plate for rounded edge okay now this one is okay this is the plate this is the rounded edge okay now here the thickness of maximum thickness of weld is or oh, sorry maximum size of the weld is this one so this is equal to 3 by 4 of thickness of plate here thickness of plate means what this one this is the thickness of plate okay this is the thickness of plate okay so 3 by 4 of the thickness of plate so we got it understood so there are the s is depends upon two conditions one is the maximum size another one is a minimum size this variation so in your examination they will ask you this okay now we having seen k about k and about s now we are going to see about l effective so l effective means this one okay before that let me complete this fs fs is the permissible shear stress permissible stress okay in that fs is equal to f u divided by root of 3 into 1.25 in limit state method F S is equal to 110 MPA in working stress method. Okay. This is all about the permissible stress. Now, what is L effective? L effective, which is represented, is something like that. L effective is, is something like that. <coughs> so it is, is equal to actual length minus l effective which is equal to actual length minus 2 times the yes yes means size of the weld size of weld so generally l effective is equal to you have to take actual length of weld minus 2 times the yes so what is the meaning of this suppose 
so there was a weld which was done you know this is the weld for example here this is the weld this is the weld but actually the yellow effect is you have to subtract this rounded portion the rounded portion approximately we will take this side is yes this side is yes so this is the yellow effect so this is yellow effect now yellow effect is equal to this total is the actual length l this is the actual length okay so this is the actual length l minus 2 times the s you will get a l effect so generally the weld will be <coughs> made by providing the size of the weld at two ends so l effect is equal to two times the size of the weld so this is all about the strength calculation okay you have to be careful with this slide practice it this is enough you can able to attend all questions okay so this is all about the a welded connection now some of the coral provisions okay the coral provision is this one the first one coral provisions the coral provisions first one is a intermittent intermittent welds are discontinuous welds or pitch of weld or pitch of weld so in that So the intermittent weld is this one. See, we will we can make a weld on both the side. For example, this is the simply supported beam, simply supported plate girder. For example, I'm saying okay, here the web is connected with the flange. Okay, web is connected with the flange now while connecting this is the web portion this is the flange portion okay while connection while connecting the top this is the neutral axis you both the neutral axis the weld is subjected to compression because this is a simply supported beam below the neutral axis it is subjected to tension so this is the neutral axis so this is the welded connection Okay. This is the intermittent weld. Similarly, this is the weld in the tension zone. This is the weld in the tension zone. Okay. Now see, this is the weld in the compression zone. This is the weld in the tension zone. Okay. Now we can write here for welds in compression zone. For welds in compression zone, the maximum pitch. Or maximum clear spacing or maximum clear spacing between effective between effective length of welds between effective length of welds is equal to 12 times the T or 200 mm whichever is less whichever is less okay that means this one 
वन दिस इज टू इन बिटवीन दिस टू दिस इज ट्वेल्व टी और टू हंड्रेड एम विच एवर इज लेस द सिमिलर मैन है फॉर अटेंशन सो द मैक्सिमम पिच इज सो दिस इज द एल एफेक्टिव ओके डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू सिक्सटीन टी ओके दिस इज सिक्सटीन टी सिक्सटीन टी और टू हंड्रेड एम आर टू हंड्रेड एम ओके फॉर अटेंशन जो सो दिस इज इक्वल टू फॉर बेल्ट फॉर बेल्ट इन टेंशन जो इन टेंशन जो मैक्सिमम पिच और मैक्सिमम clear spacing between effective length of belt which is equal to 16t or 200 mm whichever is less which ever is less so this is the point that you have to keep in your mind in your examination they will ask you about this next one is a slot welding second one is slot weld slot welding we are going to see what is a slot welding okay suppose if the available if the available length of plate available length of plate for weld is less than required length less than required length of weld then we use slot welding then we use slot welding here available in this for example 100 mm is the available but after calculation you got a required length is 200 mm then what we can do we have to make a slot welding how is a slot welding see so this is the welding this is the one plate and uh, another plate is this over that we are having another plate okay you know now we need to connect these two plate the available length for this plate is for example 100 mm this side this side this side but your required length is 200 mm then what we can do we have to do it something like that that is a slot you have to cut this plate and make it something like that here okay then cut a portion something like that and this now you can you will get a this much length more right now you can weld this now you can weld something like that you can weld something like that you can weld something like that okay you can weld something like that and this length we can say this length we can say this one it's a bit should not less than should not less than 3 times the thickness of the connector plate or 45 mm so this is very very important you have to keep in your mind okay now 
<coughs> this is whichever is more. Whichever is more. So here we can write the point that is minimum width of slot. Minimum width of this slot, which is equal to that is W, which is equal to three times the T or twenty five M, whichever is more, whichever is more. Okay, so this is all about the belt. Okay. See, this is the welded connection. What is the weld? And the strength of uh, weld calculation in that this slide is very, very important. I have written everything in this slide itself. So you have to go through it at least four to five times. That is enough to make sense and to attend the examination questions. Okay. So with that, we having seen all type of shear connections based on the weld, based on the... Uh, <coughs> bolt now we are going to we will see that is the eccentric loaded connection based on the belt based on the bolt or rivet okay